Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, global markets reporter at NASDAQ. Joining us at the market site in Times Square, New York City, we have Bruce Buchanan. He is the CEO of Rock. We're going to take a look at the effect of data and privacy regulation on brands and marketing professionals. Bruce, it's great to have you with us at market site. Before we get into Rock and the regulation side of it, let's talk about some trends in e-commerce that you're seeing. Well, we're seeing e-commerce continue to grow very fast. Um, we saw regulation, obviously, in Europe slowed things down. A lot of technology innovation was dealing with GDPR last year. But we're seeing continued rapid trends, not just in the traditional retail area, but across all categories. So whether that's B2B or travel or uh, ticketing and events, it's uh, growing fast across all categories. How would you say businesses are adopting to the new regulation? Well, I think it's different in different markets. I think the uncertainty obviously creates a lot of challenges. So we saw in Europe a lot of business being deferred and as te especially tech businesses, but also e-commerce and traditional businesses trying to work out how to grapple with regulation. We saw a lot of deferred activity and we're seeing the same thing now with CCPA coming on in, in California. So I think the uncertainty is the biggest sort of uh, problem for business. and. I would say the emerging issue is going to be the differences in approaches is going to cause additional headaches, both for consumers and for uh, businesses, and particularly tech businesses. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at Rocked specifically. Um, unlocking transaction moments is what you're looking to do. What does that mean? So we help uh, big enterprise e-commerce businesses personalize their checkout flow. So imagine you're buying something on Ticketmaster, and what are the products and services you see in that checkout experience? So which payment options, whether you park at the venue, whether you get an Uber to the venue, what other products and services are relevant for you when you're buying a, uh, a, a ticket at Ticketmaster. So we help brands like that or, uh, personalize and make the checkout much more relevant. All right, and this goes back to regulation. How can businesses use customer data responsibly? Because of course they want to sell and get revenue, but part of that also comes from the data that they're collecting. How are they supposed to be using that responsibly? Well, I think if you, if you go to the heart of everything here, it's really about how do you put the consumer first. And a lot of these things, if you look, if you sift through all the regulation, I think if you approach these things in a way that says, look, how do I make sure that the consumer is giving me consent and understands what's going to happen with their data? Typically, all the regulation takes care of itself. It's when you try and obfuscate consent, bundle consent, try and hide conditions well into the uh, T's and C's of, a, of another product, or what we call bundle consent, where uh, consent for another thing is hidden in uh, some other product that you're using. That's typically where brands are running into problem and where GDPR and, and CCPA is also creating additional uh, cut throughs on what brand, what businesses need to do. So if businesses actually um, adopt, uh, adopt these regulations, right, and, and they care about customer data, you can actually build experiences around this with customer consent and make it a, a better experience. Yeah, well, I think uh, prima facie, like all of the uh, first party uses are not really a big in question here. It's really when you move to third party uses of data that it becomes much more problematic. So it's much less of a problem for marketing technology businesses like Rocked. It's much more of a problem for ad tech businesses that are using information in a distributed way. So when you, uh, your information's harnessed and then used by an agency to target your ads to you that are more relevant on a third party site, that's typically where it becomes more problematic because that wasn't the intended use for your data when you're using product A or B. All right, Bruce, thanks so much for joining us at MarketSite. And thank you for joining me on Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.